Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in to the Punchline Podcast. My name is Lawrence Serete. Kaiti, you've been waiting for me. Saleha laki heza ka doka se bega hui teza. My followers and subscribers have been asking me how to do it. I know what I see is a lot of people who are a very, very special uh, guest as a follow-up to uh, the previous conversation that we had here on the Punchline podcast. So today, I'm happy to announce that uh, I'm joined by a prominent human rights lawyer, come activist, who is also a managing partner at Ndadi Law Fair. Ladies and gentlemen, we are upon that. Hi, Larry. Please welcome, sir. How are you doing? Thank you. Thank, you for, having, thank you for having me. It's been a while. <laughs> ah, it's been a while. It, finally, it happened. Finally, it happened. I'm going to go to the doctor and I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to go to the doctor afterwards. I'm going to go to the doctor. How come I'm going to go to the doctor? So we had to walk through the farm just to learn a lot of things. Ah, that's good. So I guess right from there, we get some lucky flu. So I felt like, you know, the yeah. problem with yeah. yeah. being on, on, on screen. Yeah. 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 No, she's, she's, she's a piece of work. Yes. So, Renda, I'm happy that you are here. You are arriving here straight from the high court. Yes. You see how important I take you. Yeah? I dumped court for you. Ah, that's good. I dumped court for you. I Great stuff. I hope you are well. Business is well. Yes. The family is well. Yes. I can't complain. Hey, hey, so far, so far, so far. I'm careful. I'm not going to be careful. I'm not going to be careful. I'm not going to no, I'm doing well. Yeah. I can't complain. It I can't shows. complain. It shows. Uh, yeah. I think I'm, I'm more happy when I'm here. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's tough out there. I think I want to create this my sanctuary mm -hmm. where I run away from the world just for an hour at ah, least. There's a beautiful know. world you yeah. have, Lotus. I'm so <laughs> impressed with this yeah. setup. Huh? No. Yeah, you're punching really hard on Punch Online. <laughs> no, we welcome you and welcome everyone at the office for the next time you are about to join in the audience. Here, yeah. Yeah. So where do we start? Like it's in the Mohotso. Yeah. Uh, it's election year, election week. We don't have time. Yes. 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 But uh, for those who may not have the appreciation exactly of who you are, to set the tone right, Hongwe, in a nutshell, Hakitsu Hore, how you poker professionally, and maybe uh, your, 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 your profile in short, how do you uh, introduce yourself out there? Hakitsu Hore, Hakitsu Hore, Poka, Melkale, Mekoro, Bole, Lord, Batwe, Tebari, Kema. Okay. Er, Ketegu, Tebari, Kemolo, Ladi, Chwanero, Ke, Founder, Ryan, Dadi, Lofem. Course. <laughs> Executive Director, Christine Stachny. Abare Waroleka, a dear quarter city way, a contrabotswan. Evora Oriano, Keroto Edua, Gebode, Lane, Ori, Arasoro, Tuareha, a hotel lepil, Carosu to eat superior or Nale, Chesaroyati, Kebeke Tuara. For about seven years, kill executive director. That's why I first uh, met you. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So when I got hot, hot, I do quite a little into, little bit. Passionate, I mean, into human rights. Then I hold on to go. Because when I do quite a little, I'm going to let you know. But I'm going to be on the wrong. Because I'm going to let you know. But I'm going to be on the wrong. Because I'm going to be on the wrong. But I'm going to be on the wrong. Because I'm going to be on the wrong. Sexual orientation by belonging to sexual minorities. Mm -hmm. uh, the sex worker, 
uh, in the line of duty ha go nwa mo gogontsi wa leke ma police so le di customer rata customer rata bone ba bangwe e ma police ba ba bangwe ba ba gogontsa ile gore ba ba ta gore ba ba enjoy service ya bone le ba sa duile e kana ya re ba sona ba sala mo ba go setseng e ba ta gore ba go nelo bone e ka ditsela tsonetse so that even the motor there is a greater good in helping people uh, than other causes se long gore go nwe eh di ka tswa di le te mehela ya go thusa batho gone where you do activism to change life for the better the next person not about you eh uh, all those causes didn't directly affect me eh uh, but and, i did them and that has been uh, over what 12 years right yes they, they say when when you change others it mm. also changes you yes. how how did uh, this this whole journey affect you and and change your life i think it made me more selfless mm. it made me to see a human being as a human being mm. not who they sleep with and mm -hmm. uh, not what uh, uh, virus runs in their body or what bacteria runs in their body mm. but just for who they are uh, that empathy even nothing mm. you know there was a time i got involved in a car accident mm. uh, mm. and one of the passengers in there was hiv positive so i had to take the treatment at the i experienced for one month i video about the post exposure prophylaxis mm. i experienced the the toxicity of the drugs Mm. Uh, in that month prep, yes, yes. yes. Mm. Uh, in that month my liver was affected what? in that one month uh -huh. and i remember the doctor saying to me luckily you have reached the end of your treatment so your liver will recover uh, naturally but do try to take care of yourself and don't get hiv because mm. these drugs uh, they have shown so when i deal with cases involving drugs or mm. uh, because the dosage was strong mm. or the combinations mm. i could relate mm. you know and it made life easier for me uh, you know i could understand how much the police had incessant i felt sick mm. and i ended up uh, leaving them yes. because yes, yes, uh, yes. adherence was an issue back then but as science evolved more and more friendly drugs mm. emerged mm. those harsh realities but back then it was tough i remember when i was growing up before the advent of arvs mm. i think that's the first time i got the attention in hiv i think i was doing standard three or four okay. i remember mosadi my mother we went to the hospital together banana was but for some reason i found that lady praying for mwana wa gagwe gore modimo a motse are modimo ke go paoro go le ngwana ke o motse wa sokola ke a ke rate ke go bona ke nna ke ta spatela ke bona a lela le moditabi then the next day the guy died Jeez. so i reflected as young as i was there is a serious problem mm. and that problem and this thing is a reality mm -hmm. and it's killing people and i started being drawn to the cause mm. uh, that's how my interest in hiv started as young as i was then I could see the horrific effects of it. Mm. So as I was growing up, I then wanted to find a way of also playing a part in reducing the impact of it. Yes. And the human rights intervention uh, was the space I thought I could fill mm. because there was a vacuum there. Mm. We didn't really want to talk about HIV yeah, yeah, at, the, at time. the time. We didn't stigma. want to confront the yes. stigma. Yeah. We didn't want to confront this discrimination that HIV positive people face. Mm. I've had to deal with cases HIV test 
all those things were there. That was, was that before the law? Or? Yes, that was before the law. Mm. Uh, those things were there. Uh, Rory, HIV test. And there was a judgment so the by the Court of Appeal mm. that said uh, HIV testing mm. as part of the medical examination or employment mm. is permissible. There was that judgment uh, involving a bank. So it shows how far we have come in combating this. So as I was still there, Kobonella, there were new laws that came into place, yeah. some in large part because of the advocacy that I spearheaded. Mm. Uh, we started seeing laws considering Patabaska discriminate Diwa for purposes of employment. Yes, yes. Public Health Act. Mm. It's a little thing. There were some bills in there before in Namolao, some provisions that we fought against or discriminate. Uh, but uh, we started finding jurisprudence, case law, a change okay. to protect the rights of the Patsela mm -hmm. And we started seeing litigation, mm -hmm. same sex, registration for instance. It was a nightmare to, to think of registering an organization. It's an organization. Just organization, not the act itself, mm -hmm. just to say register this organization. Mm -hmm. It was a no-go. Mm -hmm. I remember one person who was talking Daddy, you are activists, or now you are politicians. You are going to be a private. But hey, we can't face the public and say, Right. Yeah, that's, that's what they say. I think it's uh, now put it as cowardice. Uh, yes. I've, I've heard a lot of people trying to explain that uh, the, the, the society is not ready. Yes. Because yeah. people are actually engaging. People are leaving. Yeah. You, you get what I mean? Yeah. You can't say the society is not ready. Yes. When people are actually showing you that we are living like this and we want to live like that. Exactly. I don't know what encouraged I, such... I remember Ramogai in Because hey. there was a time I took him head on. Mm. when you were president, mm. you didn't want to talk about these issues. But now you are no longer president. Hey. You are spearheading the cause. Yes, yes. Mm. Why did you not hey. uh, get involved? Mm. No, I didn't want to lose elections. Hey, hey, I, rem I remember that. I remember him saying that. Yeah, he said he didn't want to lose elections. Mm. He knew this would make me lose elections. Then, but your messaging now is wrong because you are saying to those who are in office, don't change laws because you lose elections. At the same time, worry, let's change laws. But in Zelo and Arabia, self defeating what judgment. Is what does this uh, ah, <laughs> I, I think he just watered it down. Uh, he uh, he uh, just downplayed it. Yeah. And eventually, I don't know, as a champion, yeah, champions mm. of uh, champions, there was a group here, yeah, champions, mm -hmm. uh, Africa. Uh, with eminent people, by Lord Samuel, former president, yes, yes. and Justice Cameron was one of them. Desmond uh, Tutu, yes, yes. we need to deal with the stigma and discrimination. Yes. I remember him speaking at such a panel. Yes, yes, he, yes. He, he was. He, yeah. he was a member. Yeah. I'm speaking not sure if which, he still is. Uh, yes. yes. Speaking of which, I would like to digress a little bit. We'll yeah. continue with that, actually, because when you mention this thing of uh, uh, post power, People now commenting about what should be done back in the administration when they were in power they actually didn't implement those things we see it now yes and a lot of it now especially since it's elections a yes. lot of it now I, I want to hear your opinion about such yes kind of yes. leaders yes. or people who leave leadership having yeah. left things undone yeah. and then they want to now comment when they are outside, when they are outside. Yes. yes yeah it's, it's common yeah. we see it every day mm -hmm. uh, people it's hung about power, and they start uh, thinking <laughs> soberly now without it. I got the law, and it can make you uh, untouchable drag. when you have power it. Drag. Yes, yes. but it, it corrupts, <laughs> corrupts absolutely. Yes. So, what a lot of you, Motoba, uh, at the hill, you get your power, and how so bad as Nayone, where they start to be more rational and mm -hmm. think about things that they could have done mm -hmm. when they didn't have the power. Mm -hmm. And because there is no threat of losing elections, mm -hmm. they start to be more like you and I. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know, we don't have power. Mm -hmm. So when we don't have power, we are able to reason mm -hmm. without the threat, without the, 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 the fear 
ya gore ke ta lusa di top so personally i believe people who have power should utilize it to the max and live empty motho ha tsware i have done everything that i could possibly do when i had the power and that that i haven't done is because i couldn't do it so that when they speak when they're out of power they say well i intended to do this but i couldn't not to worry naked it's a new thing that you didn't know it existed at the time and they want to come back and, and solve want, it like yes because <laughs> it would have existed eh? yeah. it would have existed and no. they faced it or ignored it mm. right so i know that sometimes governments act in a very strange way yes. there was a time where the the lagabibo case ya yes ya 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 anti sodomy laws mona re re go te batho ba bong jo bong hela ba thakane di go ba le no se there was a time where the president spoke publicly yeah. in support yes eh case is in the current, court yes the current yes, president yes, yes. ramasis yes. where he spoke in support yes. of these issues yes but his government yeah. opposed the reliefs yeah. including appealing Hey. judgment in favor of what he supported publicly yes i remember abu i don't know whether it was word is day yes abu are in support mm. of gay rights yes but then his the government that he leads uh, through the attorney general that he gives instructions yes. because attorney general acts on instructions of government yes get the good thought is not government is attorney general no a attorney general is like me he yeah, right an attorney general is a lawyer mm. a lawyer who advises the clients mm. and the clients it's a puso i mean the attorney general ke puso puso yes so if the attorney general uh, does anything say long or puso ga se bad then he will be like a lawyer acting outside the mandate that okay. a client would have given, given to them Eh, right eh, it even now we are po kere ke me tsela Lawrence but ke ya go act against your instructions na ke rile draft le contract ka ne be ke ya go ira se se ke ya ke ya draft a contract a ko kana ya e le go re totally goes against what you have given me that's that's an interesting right? thing then what does it say about separation of powers how so it's well now it's a point down yeah <laughs> with separation of powers we know the attorney general is an advisor to the executive the independence yes yes he also advises parliament mm -hmm. he also advises ex for the judiciary as well mm -hmm. where there are issues how mm -hmm. a judicial judge dise ke siwa the attorney general steps in mm -hmm. so the attorney general is it's 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 it, it, it's a support system mm -hmm. a legal support system mm -hmm. of all these arms yes. of all this separation of a separation i mean this three different arms of government yes yes eh zelo re ha re tshoma ra separation of powers mm -hmm. so again the support can a lawyer ra ya bone so if as a lawyer you go against the interests of your clients then there is a problem oh. so i found it very strange that the president <laughs> uh, would on the one He's hand say <laughs> look rona re dumalana le gore go ska tshwengwa ope e re ba ta gore go go lesegiwe mo botswana e batho ba bong jo bongwe hela ba go lesega and then on the other hand that thing you goes to court i have i i i i'm not happy with the high court judgment that says what the president likes <laughs> so so you you then wonder okay who is the attorney general acting for Eh. surely the attorney general can't act on a freelick of their own okay educate eh. me this is quite interesting so. yeah the attorney general can't act on eh. a freelick of their own the mm. attorney general derives their mandate from the client the client mm. yes i remember one time i had a discussion with one attorney general of kolokho mm. eh ribu antari you know that is different mm. eh ronagana as attorney general we don't pick and choose clients yes if you're instructing client says do this mm. you do it yes, yes. when no 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 i can't uh, your instructions are not aligned with what i believe in believe so me. i'm i'm refusing your mandate mm. so nagel attorney generally i have to defend so, government so as you deduce this how did it happen because now we are talking about an issue uh, a pertinent issue of human rights uh, where uh, another party says that uh, 
we as the leader of the government of today mm. we don't have a problem mm. with, with hotelele we don't have a problem and then like you are saying the attorney general goes and says no we are mm. not having none of this mm. how do you deduce what yeah. what is I this honestly, and what is this supposed to mean i honestly do not believe mm. that the attorney general would go and act outside the mandate given to him by government Okay, I, I think it was politics at play. Uh, on the one hand, mm. uh, the politicians, being politicians, mm. uh, wanted to appease the nation, particularly those who are against uh, the promotion of human rights mm. in that area, uh, to say, look, we as government have done something about this. Mm. That is why there is an appeal. Mm. Because government, after the Attorney General, lodged the appeal, mm. did not come to speak out. They kept quiet. So I think it was a strategy to say, look, uh, we can't afford to lose elections. Okay. Uh, so are we still so let's there? do something. So we are still we there are still there. in Mughai's statement? Yes. I thought we that's, had moved. And that's, <laughs> that, that's the only logical <laughs> conclusion hey, hey. I could reach under the circumstances. Okay. Because the Attorney General will be in trouble mm -hmm. if the Attorney General propagates interests that are not for government. Mm -hmm. It will be just like a lawyer mm -hmm. who goes and speaks for his client, but without the client's mandate mm -hmm. or against the client's mandate. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's, it's a damning thing. It's, it's, it's an untidy situation to be in. It is. It but is. with politics, you can't. Of course. So, <laughs> you so can't figure out certain things if yes. you are if you are not a politician. Yes. Yeah, so things will be surprising to you all the time, and you just have to accept. Or, <laughs> okay. So so so, and then you shift from Bonella. When you shifted from Bonella, you went straight into private practice, yes, right? Yes. Uh, what was happening? What made you realize that? Look, uh, because now you want to, to make some bit of coins. Now we have hit the 360, we are straight into corporate, we yeah. have suits. I went into your website yeah. uh, and I was like, hey, ho -ha -ha, yeah. so yeah. The, 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 there is obviously a shift. Yeah. Yes. Not trying to say that uh, the, the, the human rights or the NGO space, yeah. Yes. Yeah. But just to say from yeah. from a, yes. a admin perspective yeah. and, and yes. the type of work yes. perspective. Hey, since I got up, I'm going to get so caught. I'm going to get a very t-shirt on a Friday, right? I'm going to get a breast cancer. I'm breast cancer. I'm going to get So, you see, this breast cancer thing yeah. shows you what yeah. we haven't lost the cause. Yeah. Uh, we still believe in humanity. Okay. Issues that affect people. Yes. Uh, yes. We exist because of people. Mm -hmm. There is no daddy law firm or there is no organization mm -hmm. that would exist without people. Mm -hmm. uh, so people are central to what we do. Mm -hmm. And the, the reason why I left Bonella is because I reached a stage where I thought I have done what I could have done in this time I was there. Uh, I had overstayed. I thought I can't be driving this animal forever. And I remember when I started, I said, that feeling. Yes, yes, I yes. said to them, the board and staff, mm. my vision mm. is to close up Bonella. They looked at me surprised. Yeah, my vision is to close up Bonella. But what do you mean? Again, I want Bonella to be irrelevant at some point. Mm -hmm. I want us to achieve our mandate. We have set out uh -huh. to do. As, as and once college. we have achieved our uh -huh. mandate, then there wouldn't be any need for Bonella, mm -hmm. or we'll have to change the mandate of Bonella mm -hmm. for it to be relevant Thank to you. current realities. Yeah. So if you wanted to end script, this stigma, yes. and you achieve in that regard, mm -hmm. a, a and, utopian view of it. Yeah. Yes, yes. And if you want to make sure uh, there are no sodomy laws, and you achieve in that regard. If you want to make sure that people are employed and they are not subjected to HIV tests, mm. and you achieve in that regard, mm. then what will be the point mm -hmm. of carrying on? 
because you would have achieved your core mandate. And I thought uh, it was time now for Bonella to have a new captain, mm -hmm. uh, possibly with new ideas mm -hmm. of how to have a new Bonella. Mm -hmm. uh, because most of the things were achieved. Mm -hmm. uh, the issues that kept us going, mm -hmm. uh, they have been greatly reduced. Mm -hmm. The issues that we dealt with 11 years ago, 12 years ago, 13 years ago, 15 years ago, are no longer there. Yes, yes. We are now talking about implementation of programs and what. Uh, we are now talking about taking services to the people we are advocating for. That's not really my space. My space was about human rights, human rights ensuring yes. that uh, laws mm -hmm. are friendly. But now the direction is slightly different. different. We are looking at things like services, whether there's universal access mm -hmm. to services. Mm -hmm. And, and you are probably, I would, I would have been bored. bored. Yes. I would have been bored, definitely. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. But uh, now I am in a firm where I have a whole range of issues that I deal with. Yes, yes. I was instrumental. Mm -hmm. I have dealt with a case that led to the change, yeah, the Adoption of Children's Act. Yes. Previously, the Adoption of Children's Act permitted children born out of wedlock to be adopted without their biological father's consent. Children born out of wedlock. That child could be adopted without you knowing. One day, Lawrence, you are no longer a father. Uh, your father now belongs to Uyab. Mm. That could happen. But with the intervention mm -hmm. uh, that I had mm. at Daddy Law Firm, mm. The law changed. Uh, Justice Dingake, when he was still a judge of the High Court, yes. you can see how far ago then that yes. was. Key. Yes. yes, key. He declared the law unconstitutional to the extent that it takes away that right from actively involved fathers. Yes. Fathers who are involved in the lives of their children. Mm. Or that will be unconstitutional. That will be harsh. Mm. And in large part, that's because of our involvement. We have been involved. Well, well, yes. While we are there, yes. uh, the Children's Act is of particular issue of interest to yes. me. But yeah. But to educate ourselves, first let me start by saying that sometimes I feel like the Children's Act uh, kind of punishes men and <laughs> advantages women more, you know, yes. especially... And well, in both sides, yes, married yeah. or not married, what is your view really yes. about it? And uh, I know there is this thing, yeah. you can't change, yes. but with us, yeah. it could be yes. many things. Yes, mm. well, I have had many women mm -hmm. complain mm. that the Children's Act is biased towards men, but the mm. uh, Children's Act they uh, have a nadi tatara that is serious, but now we have a because of it. Particularly when it comes to the issues of the affidavits, how it travel, because mm -hmm. uh, the the parents mm -hmm. they both have a right to consent to travel, mm -hmm. to consent to choice of schools, to mm -hmm. consent to when we are operation in Ghana. So when your child has to travel, uh, when all sits, mm -hmm. you have to do an affidavit. Mm -hmm. So both mobile and gore bands are bawa bawa to Kaliban, Balinus, Bali like a Bare Molawa Bahatel Lagawa Banaba. Hotel Lava is a lot of Banabat. But I love a copy of the Viti Bata Bolero de Kanzut. But I hunts you about a canoe like a zone, or well, Lore, Huamaban, Hupanishaban. Mona wana mawe at Amaya, Hongelimon now, or Hongagreban, a little different fathers. Hongelimon now about South Africa. And I said the Gahore, Hatara, or Ranarosana affidavit. So those kind of things. Uh, detail, detail. and maintenance. because the Children's Act tries to abolish. Uh, mm. 
mm -hmm. so you know, that mm -hmm. ground has since mm -hmm. been leveled and mathata bo re ga ntse re tebere re sia re tswa mo go thokomeleng ba re tswa mo go nne relationship le ba e re na go ngwa ha teng re le nteng o and then that's when you feel or ish me ano ka re molao ga o ntse itse ya ka gore ga te where have i been but throughout. You won't feel it. Able to have an upper hand. Yes, you will have that relationship. You'll be able to say, no, for these reasons, I think this is unfair. This is injustice. Elena, I want equal participation. But now you are custody rights. But computer level side. By you are. I have done so many cases where men get custody. But now you have maintenance. But the other side of the maintenance is not going But now you have the affidavit. So uh, the Children's Act doesn't encourage any gender to have power over the other. Uh, but the reality is when the reality is when parents fight, children feel the brunt. But now you have the as a weapon to fight wars to batsadi te be ruitse ela gore o lorense o lele mosadi o bata go go swela mosadi re ga ke a bona ngwana go mpe ke a gana ka eng ana o bua dio tse dintsi ngwana wa lwala ha yo weekend e o bore ke le lorense ke bata go swela mmaa ga ke na go mo duela school fees sa sa go english medium go atsana nte a tsene go tswana a ta back ka gore mmaa go e ga ntetse who suffers it's not the mother it's the child we know our private schools are currently, I mean, our public schools are struggling. I want to be I want to book, I want to be pencil, I want to be And now I have the misfortune, I want to be a copa, I want to be There's a school I used to support, do all the internet, and for about five, six years running. And then I stopped thinking, I'm not going to be a copa, I want Yesterday I just received a letter saying, I want to be a restore our internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, eh? yes, so yes. we know what we withdraw or Yeah, really, really at the end of the day is the child. It's the child that's you know, yeah. I think I think even even in, in, in many relations, I think the interest of the child has to always come first, has to be the center of, 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 of everything. everything, you know. Because now yeah. yeah. uh, yeah. it's about interest. Hey, how some people go maintenance. Hey, I go maintenance. profile, profile, you know, yeah. maintenance, yeah. Because guys, guys see a lot. I mean, we talk as guys, yeah. so but some of these conversations, <laughs> immense for our, our, our and, and just share properly uh, our experiences yes. so that maybe also we can get guidance and, and, and have a guided conversation yes. on it. Yes. So uh, in terms of uh, policy shifts and policy influences when yeah. we at the law firm, no yeah. work on your children's act. Yes, and then there, yeah. there is one that I did, which I'm quite proud of, that affects everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, they are the, the administration of estates act. Mm -hmm. Previously, the office of the master, yeah, high court, mm -hmm. No, the power to deal with estates that will Lawrence Lebo Yapo unless one lead will. Corebo Boran Sunyaneba Mozan, a Africans Babazan, a Gana Babazan Contehel, a Norotarabana power, a unless on Ali will, unless Rome Lenyala Nega will incommend your property. A very super Gana out of community will rather about the customary law. But there's a case that I did, uh, it was Pony Hopkins. Mm -hmm. And that case, the office of the master should have authority to deal with estate. Mm -hmm. But the office of the master is a master of the power of the court. I take a super king, a boss of the master of the master of the master of the master. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that case was, is impactful because it affects root. Mm -hmm. It's one of the impactful cases. 
Uh, court of appeal. Previously, there were varying judgments to high court. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah property do what is called a joint will gore ha o your asala tshegedise di thototseng e ha le go nele nna montung e ya mona bona bo e le tsa maaka go lise di rile a o tswelle o di dirise go ithela lo wena o thokahala e o setseng and then the last one to die e be le gone di o di khaogang wa but what we see now how se na willy lorenz ela how did you mala le nyala nen community e bana ba gago ba go ntsha mo sa di montu e because we don't wait for you to die Mm. Right? Yeah. When I always say, yeah. we don't wait for you. Pele pele watu na wanali misconception ya wari nya, di toto geta ayo seti. No. It has to be on paper. Yes. Di toto ina ta ayo seti, hali du mala nika joint wheel. Hako sana wheeli, we distribute. Hali nya la nini community, we say, wana musadi, rao hayo 50%, remela hali. The 50% wa mwana, yo toka heti, Remela hali. Mm. That fifty percent is the one that is going to be shared by you mm. and the children. Both of them, irrespective of whether ke bale nyalo kana kase bale nyalo. How we tibali two or bogo tibali fifteen ba zena. Fifteen yo wa ko kawaga na fifty percent to se zingo le lewe na. So right? Hagona mm. mo ting osala kase mo le sing. That people must know because I have had many of these cases, but I want to no. No, it's, it's, it's really bad. And we need to talk about these we, things. Uh, you can answer these problems. How do you really? You will be able to say, "Eh, to talk about this things. We need to talk about these things. We need to talk about these things. We need to talk Mm. And mm. I feel, I feel, yes. I feel this is an easy conversation between husband and wife. I think it's, it's an easy conversation to get into. Unfortunately, it's never easy. It's never easy. Well, I don't know. I've had, I I like, had clients uh, come to me, but ish, give up with a really good no see. I guess I have a lot but. There is a danger in that. Mm. You can only speak of your 50%. Yeah. But that 50% mm. uh, highly the property. Would have to translate that 50% to money. Yes. And that means selling. Selling. The assets. Then you can't. Yeah, so that we can divide. Yeah. yeah, no. If you are going to sell Mosaji share. So how the fifty percent? Okay, well and good, but it's always advisable to do a joint will, mm -hmm. uh, where you say, "This is how things are going to be divided." Mm -hmm. But how the fifty? How are you registering? You're telling me so that we monetize the estate. Yeah, yeah, we make yes. it money. We turn yes. it into money. Yes. We turn it liquid. We, liquid yeah, yes. we, we make it liquid. Yes. And once it's liquid, then it's easy to share your fifty yes, yes. among the people you have chosen. Mm -hmm. And among the people you have chosen, you can exclude your wife. More your 50. That's strange. Okay. Right? Uh, the 50 that you have. 
yeah. you can exclude your husband yeah. more that 50 that belongs to you or what it's in your small houses i may have it's in your it's in your only only more 50 and the master will have to respect that or 50 only but I thought it was a sim an easy conversation for people to have. But they, you never know what's happening in people. Behind closed doors, people think people think of Yeah, stuff like that. Because now I thought the most difficult conversation was uh, yeah, our parents. Because we are actually having this conversation in the past weekend when we were driving to Francis Town with my friends, uh, talking about um, how our parents have estate. I get home, we will lend them a simu, this and that. And we are here, Harun Hababerik, Rabairala, the policy, and this and that. Now it becomes difficult to start the conversation because other siblings say, How do you normally navigate such conversations? Yeah. How do people navigate those? Yes, it's, it's, it's an important conversation to have. I mm. think it's important to share stories with our parents mm. of the issues that arise when one of the parents is gone, mm. particularly men. When mm. men die, that's where most problems begin. begin. Uh, we need to talk about these things. Mm. Uh, I've been to the office of the master almost every week mm. uh, when issues mm. uh, about inheritance. Mm. Uh, you can have a conversation The law is the law. Mm. You chose a proprietary regime with your husband. The law doesn't care who brought what. It's a choice you made. Mm. Eh? If you didn't want to have these difficulties, you would have opted to marry out of community. But because you chose for the way it is, mm. eh? that's it is what it is. Uh, my son, <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is. So I always find it strange while we are here before I move on. Um, Kabala, bad divorce, this uh, rugby player, Siakoli, yeah. uh, he's divorcing, and then half of the time, or maybe if I'm misreading, mm. it's like, especially. Since we are we are talking about splitting of, of, of property and ownership before we get to the divorce issue, yeah. it's always like um, uh, the man always gets kicked out of the house. <laughs> 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 Tell me, <laughs> well, it's it like all judges always kick <laughs> the men out of the house. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> what happens is parties normally agree. Mm -hmm. Or no, look. Okay. Uh, let's try at least and maintain the environment that they are accustomed to. Mm -hmm. yes. And instead of you getting the matrimonial house, mm -hmm. uh, so we compensate for that. Because mm -hmm. in terms of the law, like how can I do 50-50? Mm. Yes, it's not always the case for in a 50-50, exactly. How uh, more compromise? But it's worth much more mm. in terms of other attachments, mm. sentimental value, mm. not necessarily the financial value to mm -hmm. it. Mm. I can't have my wife. I go to the house. I go to the house. In terms of value, really 300,000 less than mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So you look at those things. No, mm -hmm. there are other ways of offsetting and to make equity. Mm -hmm. If you have 200,000, you have to pay for it. If you have to no, you have to pay but I get he live and I am a sense of a banging and a marble not an amount to live on a mujer thing. It's possible. Yeah. 
So normally when parties don't agree, eh hot dole kha kangwa ya, we sell. Oh. The judges don't say ke ha mo na kana mo sa no. If there is no agreement, we sell, it becomes liquid and when it's liquid, it's easy to share. 50-50. Then you go start afresh. E bo kona ding ngalo ka hore. Go a tugra to start afresh. Hey, it's it's a tough thing. Yeah. So we always encourage divorcing couples to try and compromise. There is no win-win. Ha ngwe motho gona go ngakalla hela re ke ba ta sofa. Ja jena ko ngila bo sa re ka nta sofa e dirile ke. E lo la inye. E se re divorce. Sofa ha hela. E. Ke ha ke ho uta kana ke ha ke muthulo we. E. Motho wait tela le gore nya. Monna na e batla hela ka hore o itsore mosadi wa hera. Oh. E le just to to spite. To spite. Aha. That's that's quite interesting. It happens a lot. That's quite interesting. So 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 as lawyers sometimes we deal with emotions than the law. We deal mainly with emotions. Someone, uh, someone once told me that uh, uh, it's a lawyer actually. They've made an observation near uh, uh, divorce involving white people is much more easy for, 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 for an attorney to handle in court than Yaro <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't know. know. I, 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 I haven't dealt with uh, white people divorces. Yes, I think so. I can't recall. Uh, so you've dealt with the tough ones. Yeah, I've dealt with uh, the tough ones. Eh? Yeah, tough ones. Yeah, tough ones. But then yeah. they are, they are, they are, they are, yeah. the 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 divorces they look at they you meet people who are mature mm. by looking at their objective. They mm. know what they want, mm. and they are smooth and fast and mm. cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't need another lawyer. Just mm -hmm. help us get out of this institutional mm -hmm. divorce. Mm -hmm. And we know the principle 50 50. Mm -hmm. And we have no intentions of cheating the other person. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and within a week or two, the divorce is done. Mm -hmm. You do the summons, you do the settlement agreement, you file with court, you get a date. Or a lawyer and say, hey, God forbid, yeah. Yeah. Fast, and then that's it. cheap. Yeah. Eh? You don't spend a lot of money, eh, eh. Eh? and we <laughs> like divorces that conclude fast. Yes, eh, it's, it's it's good. It's good to have those kind of divorces. Mm. Eh, now, personally, I always try to keep these issues mm. eh, going for a short period of time because mm. divorce is a sensitive issue. It's emotional. Yeah, you know, family law hella yon hella. It's emotionally taxing. Mm. So if you can get it out of the way quickly. It brings about closure mm -hmm. and people move on. Mm -hmm. But how we derail by the time uh, it ends? It won't stay hey, open. yeah, 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 yeah. But balole, balole, lawyer na lawyer out in some day. How to ma mowa koma ngahela on the na kete ko ena. You could get that, but uh, trying to protect your the, your client's interest. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, as lawyers, we are slaves of instructions. Yes, mm. we do advise mm. uh, clients, but how can we client over now? But I want custody. Mm -hmm. And you have to fight for it. Mm -hmm. Takes a while, mm -hmm. but eventually they get it or they don't get it. <laughs> 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 I've had many divorcing couples <laughs> <laughs> the DNA test. A divorce. <laughs> 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 and then we have had those cases. So we have seen that. How, how does the feeling in the room hey. then when can be hectic. you are dealing with such a revelation now? It can be hectic. Mm. Uh, I remember. They are both your clients. Yes. Uh, remember? Uh, yes, I remember. No, I want to look at my client is the child. I say we know. It can be hectic. Oh, what are we now? What are we now? Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah. Lee Balwe now he puts out okay. Janja. Eh, there was one case. You know, they say couple in Yalani. Never say Yala. When Yala is short, the guy is the father, and the guy turned out not to be. 
Jesus. And we had to go to court. You know, it was at all court. Mm. He was just there in court, mm. Judge Mutobi. May he so yeah. rest in peace. Mm. Uh, he had that matter before him and Abantar and Standardi. Can you help these people on pro bono basis? Okay. I took it up. I gave a Tusa on pro bono. A judge can instruct you that? Yeah, he asked me. Oh, it was just a friendly It was just a friendly ask. request. Oh, okay. And I, oh. I accepted it. I guess yes. uh, the human rights background, the Abonella, yes, yes, yes. I accepted it. Yes. I helped them for free. Mm. And yes, the guy turned out not to be the father. Jesus. And then we had to locate who the father was and then have his name replay, put in the birth certificate. The girl said, no, it was a one night spell. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, so I didn't think or something could have happened, mm -hmm. but it happened. Uh, yeah. So then the certificate was changed. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So these things happen. So you don't, you don't, uh, the, 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 it was a serious consequences. I remember from outside the marriage, about six of them. Three guys and three guys. Three. 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 Confirmed. Three excluded. What? Three confirmed, three excluded. Through DNA? Yeah. So the atmosphere was, was hectic. Uh, Do you ever the, bring the uh, security was, <laughs> in the office? <laughs> the atmosphere <laughs> was empty. So <laughs> the way I remember one girl saying, <laughs> the mother, and, uh, my mother, I'm to the hotel, I can't get my pail. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to what has been the hardest case you have really had to, to handle and how did you handle it? Hey, the hardest case, I wouldn't say it's hard, but the most case that gave me the sleepless nights girl mm. butterfly. Hey, hey. That one when it started, I remember I was on the road to mm. Totome. Hey. And Hakitanamo Francis Town, uh, one of the lawyers that I worked with at the time mm. calls me, say, Hey, can I land down? It's really. mm. And so the charges the mm -hmm. I stopped. I stopped and I get a hit worrying. I don't get to really get even. I've consulted with her before on other things, so mm. don't expect her to see. Mm. So when I heard the charges, I did to I shivered. Yeah. Not sure whether it could be correct, wondering could it be true or could it not be true. Yes. All right. So that scared me yeah. for a while. Come on, this is a lot of money. Uh, at the back of my mind, I am not sure if I can hell. I don't know if I can do it. Yeah. But is it, it's not possible. Again, yeah. I'm trying to convince myself. Yeah. But at the same time, but my client wouldn't lie to me. Uh, if there's any person that you would not lie to, is your yeah. lawyer. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but then we dived in, we consulted. We did all that we could do. The pressure at the Nyala, hey, Remy's a motu, Zulu hundred billion. People think, what I wanted, you are really my dear, and I'm thinking, hey, man, hundred billion. How was she and, at the time? No, you know, she, she, I think she was calm. She, she's a strong woman. Mm -hmm. I would have been broken, I would have been defeated. Mm. You know, we consulted, we did all that we could do, but mm. I thought no government can fabricate charges against its own people. I thought no government could make up stories implicating its own people. Mm. Yeah? Mm. So when it turned out to be true that indeed government mm. fabricated against its own people, mm. that to me was the greatest disappointment. I'm still to recover from the disappointment that a whole state machinery mm. could come to a standstill over fabricated charges and mm. cause alarm the whole world, mm. not just here in Botswana, over something that has been made up. Mm. And more shocking mm. is even today, no one has 
taken accountability or suffered the consequences mm -hmm. of the mess. Mm -hmm. No one. Hey, I saw some application uh, to do a private uh, yes, prosecution. Yes, yes, mm. that, uh, yes. But That's up to date, six years later, mm. That's interesting. there hasn't been any consequences. Mm. Despite the enormity mm. of the alarm, mm. the false alarm. So, so butterfly. So you would have yes. expected mm. that heads by now will be rolling. Will be rolling. Will have rolled mm. because of the enormity mm. of the false alarm. But hey, it hasn't. So I'm interested in also knowing. Can you in the room with the butterfly? Nice circle, uh, I wish to have her here on the <laughs> She tells me her you know, yeah, how she was feeling. You, you should invite her. <laughs> yes. So when I, from, from, from your perspective as a lawyer, all, all, all of this is happening. When you get home, what do you say to your wife? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not an easy conversation. Because hey. your wife will be looking at you and thinking, hey, sorry, daddy, you just have to do that. Because when, hey, hey. Well, when hey. people talk about hey. such sums of money, uh. they see you having a cut in it. Yes, yes. yes. And, and to me, it was justice. Mm -hmm. I believed in it. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't even put money ahead of everything. Mm -hmm. We worked on the case. Uh, because we believed or there was an injustice against a fellow citizen, mm. a human being. Mm. Mosadi for that matter. El Ogore was being caught up in Dintwa. Tabana. Basale Bagane Bonega Bubo at the time. Eh, now um being gone or basamola le bahana. But at the time no one our reanum and no tins to hella hara who uh we could roll twana lemwana I did receive a whole lot in the other side uh, at the time. Uh, but there are no garba. But I don't know. Go for a new cook. Which is quite interesting. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it has been an interesting yes. duel for, for the past uh, six years or yes, so and all the yes, likes. Yes. Um, speaking of which, and then you got appointed recently. Yes, as a commissioner. <laughs> yes, as the IEC commissioner. Yes. And there has been a case. Uh, that was interdicted. Uh, it's whole, uh, yes, they were, can, seeking, can you, they were seeking. The case uh, basically said, uh, we want these commissioners, Baba Point, yes, JSC, the, four, five, the five commissioners, yes. uh, to be interdicted mm. from performing their functions mm. because really opp opposition rebels our Baba Point. So that case came before court, mm. and the court did not agree mm. with the opposition. Uh, one Mabakana uh, letting who got the Bob Palazzo Yosu by clear right, Elore Tabaha, that interim interdict. That interdict in Elore Aore have a sense of a major opera case here review of setting aside the Judicial Service Commission decision. Ever mm. some office. Oh. Yeah, so there is still a case mm -hmm. which may come uh, depending on the advice that the opposition is given by their lawyers, mm. and uh, they could decide not to proceed with it. Mm -hmm. We don't know. So but according what to is the judge, did it make sense for a while you are still trying to review another case and then you keep other people from working? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. It makes sense. So we, so are, we are on the job. Mm -hmm. We are performing our functions mm. as commissioners. Mm -hmm. Yes. So... What, what, what does this job... Okay, before what, does the, what the job entails, because obviously the issues surrounding uh, the, appo the appointment. Yes. How were you appointed? I was appointed by the Judicial Service Commission. Uh, in terms of the law, yeah. in terms of the law, uh, the all party, the constitution, right? Mm -hmm. The all party conference mm. can nominate a list yes. of people mm. uh, that they have agreed on. Mm. And from that list, mm. the JSC mm. is bound to appoint mm. members, by five. Or members the all party conference. For instance, the all party conference can agree only on two names mm. instead of five. And those two names, Habadi Neala, JSC, JSC will have to appoint them. And Molao trying to make sure there is no gap in appointments mm. or where there is failure to reach an agreement at the all party conference, the JSC is empowered to appoint mm -hmm. 
the five people. And now that appointment, it's wide. It's not restricted to... It's at the prerogative of yes, the JSC. It's the JSC. Uh -huh. So the JSC will then make a determination mm. of who to appoint. Mm. And my appointment came about because, uh, and it's not from the government, eh? mm. uh, JSC members include the law society, mm -hmm. the law society of Botswana, okay. the JSC. Yes. Right, that composition. Yes. Sir. So the law society then, as members, were also asked to come up with their names. Mm. And they brought two names, I'm told. Mm. And mine was picked. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So that's what they want to take you to court for. <laughs> so, so, so then, um, what are the, now what are the functions? Of, yes, the they are our, our key function. Mm is to supervise the secretariat of the IEC. Yes. That's the key function, mm. to make sure that the secretariat does things properly. Mm. We have to account mm. and hold them to account. Yes, uh, as, as oversight. Yeah. As oversight. Yeah. We are the board. We are not involved in the day-to-day -day mm. runnings of the IEC, mm. right? I don't know what's happening as we speak at the IEC, mm. but I would expect at least every quarter or whenever there is an issue, to be briefed on the ongoings at the IEC and to make decisions that are strategic for the good of the IEC, mm. as a board of directors would do. I'm not operational. Commissioners are not operational. Mm. They are the oversight body, mm. right, that would ensure mm. that things go right. So on the day of the elections, for instance, we as commissioners, after we would have voted, we would assemble at IEC, mm. offer the necessary support and guidance. Mm. Where things go wrong, we should be able to make decisions. Mm. So um, if I'm playing the devil's advocate here, um, if I'm opposition, then in this case, what am I worried? What's my biggest worry if you're opposition. about this appointment and this function? If you're opposition, mm. uh, I don't know. I don't want to speak for them, uh, but I would imagine uh, the opposition had a list of people that uh -huh. they preferred, mm -hmm. right, mm. to be in the JSC, mm. for whatever reason. Mm. And I'm sure the ruling party also had a list of people that they would have preferred mm. for whatever reason. Mm. And obviously, if your preferred people are not there, or not all of them are there, it might give you discomfort. Yes. I don't know. Not. I'm just speculating, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But from what I gather, some of the people who are appointed mm. were part of the list that was mm. recommended oh, okay. to the JSC. That was not agreed on, mm. but they were there, mm. apparently. I don't know. Mm -hmm. That's quite interesting. That's yes. very interesting. So um, given all of this now, uh, maybe obviously you can speak for yourself or as a functionary of the, of the office. Um, how then are we going to try by all means to make sure that this doesn't affect uh, the perception about the outcome of the elections? Well, what we can do is mm. to be clear to our conscience, mm. is to do our duties uh, without fear or favor. Mm. That's what we can do. Mm. That's what we can commit to do. Mm. And whether it's good enough to appease both parties or either party, mm. it's immaterial. Okay. But what is material is to do what the Constitution expects you to do. Mm. Once you have discharged that mandate, yes. then you can sleep at night irrespective of who says what. I normally say, if you are beholden to the Constitution mm. and not to a person, mm. then you'll be able to be free mm -hmm. in your thoughts. You'll be able to be free in your spirit. Yes. And that's what I'm aiming for okay. in my role, okay. to do what I am mandated to do. If obviously the space is not there, so the decisions will be made. Okay. Demystify, obviously, uh, I know we are a small society and we do have these conversations, although sometimes I often say it, we are a very we are a strange society because, um, anyway, let me just get to the question mm -hmm. to make more sense. The question will be, obviously, you do business with government, right? Mm -hmm. Like every, every other lawyer, anyway. Mm -hmm. And anyone can get appointed everywhere. What's your perception on, 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 on these views that now 
if you get appointed for, or on certain positions, it has anything to do with how you do business with government as a law firm or as a private proprietor? Well, I don't think I have any instructions from government. Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh, okay. You mean yes. in, as, a, as a law firm? As a law firm. Oh, okay. I, most of my matters are against government. Yeah, okay. I deal with so many labor matters against government. Okay. I deal with medical malpractice cases against government. Uh -huh. And if government expects <laughs> me uh, <laughs> to uh, be the uh, proponent uh, because I'm in this commission, uh, then they are mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be a mistaken belief. Okay. I will continue to do my work. Okay. Irrespective so, of who the opponent is. Yes. If the opponent is government, so be it. Yes. So, but, but still, my question seeks some education. Yes. Uh, it could be, we could put it generally. Mm. Uh, we have lawyers who also do business with government and this and this. And sometimes people get appointed to go and do, uh, represent government on so many yeah. Different portfolios are how liquidated you are, how wrong, how wrong. Does it necessarily mean that when you are in private practice, uh, then you can't handle diligently the duties of government where you have to separate your interests? Where government, government instructs you? Yes. You can. I normally say lawyers. Mm. Lawyers should be free mm -hmm. to take any matter that they are not conflicted on. Mm -hmm. Conflict means acting for somebody against the person you acted for mm. before. Mm -hmm. Where, say for instance, you are my client, mm -hmm. you came to me for divorce, and yeah. then I dump you along the way, mm. I represent your wife. Mm. That will be a conflict of interest. Mm. But if you are Lawrence, and I've mm. acted for you in a divorce matter, mm. and your wife comes to me to say, sue this guy mm. for A, B, C, and D, that is not divorce related, mm. I can sue you. Mm. And that should not be a problem. I, government, if government says, and daddy, we believe you can help us in this particular matter mm. uh, better, mm. then I can do it. There are instances where councils would instruct us mm. to help them in the past. Yes. And we did. And we will still take instructions against government afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's a brief. Mm -hmm. It's limited to the cost. It's not, it's not like you are now employed by government. Mm. Those who are employed by government Unfortunately, they can't. Mm. But if you are outside the government system, you can act for government one day, you can act against government mm. the next day. Or even the same day. You can have two matters before court the same day. Mm. Two different matters. Mm. One where you are suing government mm. and one where you are defending government. Perfectly fine. As long as the matters are different. Mm -hmm. mm. Is it true that uh, lawyers and doctors are, and journalists are at the top of the list of the rankers, professions? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be sued by lawyers. I don't want to be attacked by journalists. The withdrawal I don't want the law society. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to uh, not uh, be treated by doctors uh, uh, because I have uh, labeled them one way or the one other. Way or the other. Uh, but what I do know uh, is, yes, uh, some of us do enjoy their free time. Of course. Yes, and uh, it's. As long as they can do it yes. and still remember that the next day they have to serve, or even that very day you can be called to serve, yes. it's okay. Yes, yes, yes. yes. But yes, uh, I haven't started drinking yet. Uh, maybe one day I will. Ever? Ever. Ah. I don't trust people who don't drink. <laughs> how, do, how, do, how, how do you deal, except, with, except, how do you deal with your demons? I work out. Ah. I, I, I hit the treadmill. Okay. That's where I leave my demons. <laughs> uh, that's where I deposit the stress yes. I come with from the office. Uh, uh, uh. And obviously, I play soccer with my kids. Yeah. Uh, I do homework. It's yes. refreshing. Yes. You know, and obviously, there are, there are husbanding duties as well yes, yes. Uh, that one has to do. Yes. And uh, so many other things. Yeah, you put quite a lot, a lot on social media and, and all the likes. Um, What's your what's your view on that? I mean, on you, are, you are you are you are an open you are an yeah, open book. I could I, say. I, I, yes. Um, say. Personally, I've seen one photo of yours. You are having coffee with the kids. Was it the kids? So no, it wasn't. Uh. It was someone with the kids, and there was just a lot of opinions mm. flying around mm. back and forth. Mm. And I personally, I was like, okay, you know what? 
I'm a father, I know yeah. these things, yeah. but yeah. I wouldn't post myself in my bed. <laughs> in the gown, having coffee. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I would normally yeah. say so, to, me, to myself, well, I, I'm an open book, yes. Mm -hmm. I live my own life. I do whatever gives me joy. Mm. I don't want to imprison myself. Of course. And uh, if whatever I do annoys the next person, mm. Oh, make them happy. Yeah. It's not my fault. I know someone nah, who's not like this response. Nah, <laughs> I live yeah. my life. Yes. I, only, I only have one life to live. Of course, that's Just true. one life. That's true. And if that one life I outsource it yeah. and give live somebody else's life, yes, yes. then I will regret it that's when true. I'm about to die. So, so when I die, I want to die empty. Mm. I want to die having lived my life to the fullest. I don't want to look back yes, yes, and say, yes. I wish I could have done this and that. So um, I'm liberal. Mm -hmm. And some people normally say, hey, yeah. 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 I've seen you also blog quite a lot about uh, your activist yeah. and social yeah. political issues. Yes, I don't. Um, I remember one discourse, time, yes. yeah, mm. I remember one guy say, hey, can you tell me what you want Yeah. During that era. Yes, yes. You yes. 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 just yes. disappear. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> there was was it Tamaka? Finally, mm. uh, activism here, old is day. Mm. We came and we distributed pamphlets mm. in front of Bokama dignitaries, saying ten reasons why Botswana will not get to zero HIV infections. Mm. Distribute the whole around. And people were said, hey, I'll make it. Yeah, we got the message of the pre we got the attention of the president. Eh, eh, that's eh. the strategy. That's the strategy. Eh? Eh. Whether we get arrested or what, that's eh. another thing. Actually, it is impact. Going, impact. Eh? Yeah. So mm. the message Wahatautona ended up changing mm. to now talk about our ten reasons. Mm. So the focus shifted. Yes. Some people were celebrating us in that VIP tent, yes. others privately, others openly. Yes. Yeah, over Some has scared for you. Yeah, one has scared on you. Hey, Baba Mugare, yeah, me, hey, let us hear it. No, well, we don't care. We are young and fearless. Mm -hmm. uh, we, uh, we didn't have children then. Uh, but mm -hmm. then, no. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think we should live in fear. Baba Mugare, I can't you don't have bodyguards. For what? What do you think of the state of our, of our uh, freedoms, or enjoying our rights as compared to in the past and now? Yeah. Well, I think there, has, there is little change. Mm -hmm. mm. I haven't seen that noticeable change. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we are still where we were mm -hmm. uh, back then. Mm. I don't think we are. But once about so hair, eh, but over so I would a gun around what I'm Lawrence, then I got a hot tail. Eh, but I you know, you know, the whole was an eye of big brother. Yeah, was an amola. Eh, then what I don't see what goes then we super innocent. Ronagana, as lawyers, we say there has to be a reason. A super more a game was an old child. Bonnie Bow Charlie, or Rosu Bow again, Gasco. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's a mile strategy than Bar Pamu. Why you are not guilty? Yes, why you are not guilty? Yes, why you are not guilty? Over the year we see all Pamu. Bar Tima access to lawyers. Bar and Albana, dear friend. Which country so. would, you, would you live in if you had a choice to choose? No, I would still choose Botswana. I always say the same. I would still choose Botswana. I have traveled the world, but. Wow. I'm always homesick after five days. Why you, Why do you think it's the case? I mean, look at New York, man. Look at London. I've been there, at, uh, Upper I City. Mean, we've been around, but yeah. there's something about us that we always just want to come I back. I just want to come back home. Yeah. You know, I feel my own space is okay, less crowd, more yes, crowded. Yes. Uh, uh, we have the basics. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a small community. Also, there's, uh, there's one thing that uh, really touches me deeply mm. in heart, and it says a lot about Botu, mm. Jaruna, Esba, Tswana, Lisetu, Saro. We were having this debate the other time, and I said, you know, in Botswana, there are no homeless people. 
Yeah. You never find a single homeless person. Tolela next door ka ba risa ni barona ka. It's a, it's a disaster. Yeah. And it says to you that um, about hella our our social construct. Eh ha ke sinya ga lwa ke spani mo mo sa di mo go loko ga re. Yeah. Wa go. Eh wo yange. Le ma ntukie le ya nta te mo golo proceed and continue. Yeah. I don't know. There is that communalism yeah. yes, yes, that yes. we have. Yes. Kwa koma ha tseng kwa you are on your own. You are on your own. E mo le mo ipander. Kwa no though we are losing it mm. but it's still there. Mm -hmm. But it used to be there a lot. Bogologolo. Bogologolo no tswa go gae o sa kopa boroko go pe mo ka seke o tshoke boroko. E o itsela. Ha o tsena mo ga boroni. O bo somola wa ka nya re. Ha ne mo ning ka go ga go kopa boroko ka. O se tso tsana mo ga boroni. We mele tse ko sa letsa. E e e. And you know you would be housed somewhere. Wa go bona le sitja even na gore e o wara ka gore go ne meke tatsa ala ba ka leka. Ha ke ke ba go botsa bona. Go tsa male. Ba ta bona o ntso na ya la o ntso. That spirit was there. Yes, yes. But yes, we are losing it now. Me ala go ne we used to have that in abundance. Mm. I know Ronaldo go. Ne re ntse wa mo di bedroom. Re stela bai. Eh eh. Ro ba la mo city room. Ro ba go city. It was okay. He didn't yes. have a problem with it. Yeah. But eh hom bieno ga ra o le ndani ya. So you would be there mo city room mo le dikaze. Speaking of your issue ya yeah, our social construct yeah. as, as you are speaking. Ha rene comfortable le thata mo le gore that's why sometimes we have these conversations about the batswa kwa go ba itlhela re re ntsone mo ri totsi di di gore le community ane ba tsa di o tsa rona. As a as a curve ball to 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 what se to sarona versus the aggressive hungry world they bring sarona se tsere in 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 the play field. Yeah. Uh, I think it's gradually changing. Yeah, mm -hmm. our children are much more assertive than us. Ba 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 ipuelel. Rona, I think we are docile for the most part. Redumela yeah. gore how le motho ona le go tonga ma itseo ha wa tswana go nna di khoka wa tswana go mana e o ntse ntse go nna sub jude yes but that has killed us it has killed us because people have come with their might and they have displaced us mm -hmm. displaced us from jobs displaced us from land e le go re ke be re re ke harona because they they were aggressive about it mm -hmm. they come from backgrounds it's a long gore uh, there is very little for everyone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That passion, mm -hmm. uh, it has driven us, us out of opportunities. Mm -hmm. But I think we are gradually uh, getting in, uh, actively showing People are saying we'd rather go to jail uh, than have people killed, uh, than have people. <laughs> uh, ritually <laughs> mad at, eh? mad at yeah, for ritual yeah. purposes, uh, you know. So we, we, we are, we are, we are setting ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think we are as docile as we used to be. Okay. Uh, there is fear now. I think of leaders. Mm hey, -hmm. press a wrong button. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I think we are not so bad. We are doing good. Uh, robust thing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think unemployment is two seats. Two seats. Now we, we, uh, we, are we, are we are hungry. We are hungry. Mm -hmm. we, we, yeah. we want to grind. Yes. We want to do things. We want to compete. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I see even the youth, like yeah. you mentioned, you know, but 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 the the online. Yeah. They are developing apps. They are developing guys. Apps. Are, Yes. Our team is yeah. mostly youth, yes. you know, yes. and guys have yes. this creative, crazy yeah. ideas. Yeah. And surprisingly enough, a lot of them don't even want to go to farming. Yeah. And those who want to go to farming want to do smart farming. Yeah. And, and, and all yeah. the likes. Yeah. So, and they're international. You can say that again. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But what I've always said, which gives me sleepless nights. Uh, we tend to believe in what people from outside offer us mm -hmm. than what we produce here, what we can do here. How tao lo consultant tore ken daddy ke mo botswana I can offer you this. Mm -hmm. uh, the very same thing that or even less than what I could offer. Hasta se pitchwa ke mo tswako. Sa celebrate. 
kwata ke sone ke sone and that motswakwa will then use me to deliver whatever i address na ata interview wa yes ata interview wa ata dira di report abata a ja hela mo go for triple the price that i would have charged and reverere hallelujah it's a foreign document it is like a motswakwa that needs to die. Mm. We need to value ourselves more than we value people from outside. Mm. And those who give us content, a rich quality, content. How many Batswana are killing it outside? Yeah. Many. Yes, yes. Even in your industry. Yes. Eh? Mm. Good producers, Bakonte. Yeah. Bamu TV Mbare. Mm. Good doctors, Bakonte. Mm. Ba celebrate you. Yeah. Eh? Accountants. Quite, quite interesting. Eh? Ba tse wa tia ko. Urona ra go ta re tsa tia. Ba ba thobogilwe ngoma ha tsenga ba batswana ba tse wa ntsi ya te. Ba ba thobogilwe. Dingaka tse di teng mo tse dingwe mo tsa ba tswa kwa. Tse go teng di bolela ile batho mo ago mo go di operation a di a tsa masi. Ela ha tsena go te o tswa go bolebe ke motswa. O mo nela license. Motswana yo tsene go ne go university nyo ne ya tsene ngo go yona. Ba mo iteng. Ba mo iteng. Eh? Health professions cancer. Ga se bona go nna bo di ya na go. Ba tima ba tswana go te yo ke motswana. Ba mandadi ya a go. Ja. Ha tswana la ke go tsha. Tsontse re go ja motswa go yo saitseng ga re wa ka ja yo tana mabela nya. O ta ga re ga ta. Eh? Ha ka ga kwala mo go ro. Eh? So go botso ga re hile ile go ro ta kwala ga kala go saitseng. It's a bad psyche to have as a society, yeah? Yes. So it's a bad. But uh me re go ya cross cutting it's everywhere. Mm mm. It's everywhere. I'm sure yeah. even in your industry. No, it is. I mean, uh, when you're you speaking about that, I mean, uh, we were breaking all, all sorts of stories when we were in the newsroom, go, go Mary, all these things on the spy chief and whatever. Mm. Heavy stories. Mm. My first recognition mm. for uh, an award, I wasn't getting awards locally, was the CNN African Journalist of the Year. Yeah. Outside. Yes. We, it took CNN yeah. to say, this is the guy. For us to come and win ours back. Imagine. Home. And you're Imagine. just like, ah, you know yeah, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's my society, yeah. we know it. But um, I think it's a mentality that hey, we need to break out of, you we know, do. And, and, and all the likes. We do. Mm. So, because we are here, uh, 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 I've been enjoying chatting with you actually. I don't want to go into other issues that may otherwise want us to really expand and extrapolate too much detail on <laughs> yeah. them yeah. what are the yeah. 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 specific yeah. discussions yeah. There is a I, lot. Went, yeah. Yeah, I went into your website yeah but uh, i checked for vacancies more than hour here for a law firm, that's a big number. Mm. And uh, when there are opportunities, I hire. There are mm. many people who don't work for me, mm. but who do work for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the deputy sheriff, the messenger, uh, across Botswana. Mm -hmm. When there are documents to be saved, I will send them to young people, Francis Tao, go deliver this document. Do an affidavit of service, this is how it's done, send it back. So we empower. We empower, we do have intents that come through, we teach them, we make them feel like better lawyers, we hire new lawyers. Every year we always have a new lawyer coming in, and there's one who is there now says to me, Ish, we thought I was elsewhere. Mm. Uh, but the amount of law that I've learned within a month here mm. surpasses the eight months that I spent at that other place mm. because I've learned so many things, mm. so many amazing things, so mm. many useful things in the law as opposed to that one narrow area of the law that I was exposed to for that eight months. So I feel like a better lawyer now. And that's, that that's, gives that's me beautiful. peace of mind. Mm. And to me, it's about empowerment. Mm. We need to empower employees. Yes. We need to create the space mm. where employees mm. would now believe or they know it all. Yes. And I always tell them, remain grounded. Mm -hmm. Remain grounded, mm. no matter how much you know, yes. keep thirsting to learn more. 
True. And true. you develop. I agree, you know, school. once they know, but mm -hmm. small are a big headed, Baba. Yes, yes. And then they don't listen. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have experienced it in the newsroom yeah, as well. Quite a lot. It's everywhere. Yeah. Where young people don't want to uh, develop yeah. gradually. Mm -hmm. and take shortcuts. And yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you may have a shortcut. Eh? Mm -hmm. You can't be a wee up on daddy overnight. Mm -hmm. you, you have to work. Yeah, I wasn't true. a wee up on daddy overnight. It's hard work. Mm. Uh, you don't earn reputation where people talk about you. Kuma Simo, but no, I want to talk about that. You know, I normally go. I guess I think he did so. Hey, can I go home? I'm going to go home. 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 So those kind of things, I don't take them for granted. Mm. They say to me, what are the impact that I do? Mm. It's felt everywhere I go, and it's important that when people come to you for services. They, they get help yeah. because it is the word of mouth that will sell you more than an advert. Mm -hmm. yes. My experience with this beautiful ambience yes. says to me, there's something that we can do with this place. Ah, I've already told you that yeah. there's something that I'm thinking of. <laughs> eh? And we need to make use of this place because it's a lovely facility. Yes. And we can impact many more people. We can more reach... People many more people mm -hmm. through a platform like this. Wow. And it is my belief that one day it will have grown exponentially and you would have outgrown the space. I'm humbled, I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. I'm humbled. <laughs> so I keep... I need the beer. <laughs> <laughs> so not Tiela, not Tiela. I don't know if you know what I mean. I don't know if you know what I mean. So, so um, in, in, in closing, Mr. Ndadi, I'm, I'm really um, grateful for those kind words uh, with the team. And uh, we are really... Um, uh, and I see young people. Yeah, I, yes. I believe in young people. Yes. I believe no, in young people. Young, yes. Majority of my employees are young uh, people. Yes. Yeah, I can almost 74, uh, but majority. Uh, <laughs> young people. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. No. Uh, it's, it's a good thing. Which is uh, a good let's, thing. let's believe in young people. The, yes. the, we are the people to take this country forward. Yes. yes. Uh, as young people. No. And uh, as I close, yes. and I would like to say thank you for having me. Yep. And to Botswana, let's go out and exercise our constitutional right to vote. Yes. Let us go and choose a government that we think will uphold our aspirations. Yes. Drive Botswana forward. Yes. Totora Omang, Totora Karatayo, Bakanya Machesa, we hope for a line. Tale botele la mezi. no, I appreciate Thank you for tuning in uh, the Punchline podcast with Lawrence Seretze. Please subscribe, leave a comment and share. And let your friends know where the conversation is happening. Stay tuned. Salasun Tlakolape.